Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a two-volume work from Edward Elgar Publishing on the law and economics of insurance, a very important area of law. Um, these are very much part of the stable of publications from Edward Elgar, which uh, actually are a collection of essays. It's been edited by uh, Daniel Schwartz, and it's given the title by us in, on the web and in the journals as follows. Of special interest to transatlantic practitioners, economists and legal scholars specialising in insurance. And this is the book. Let me show you the two volumes. That's volume one the side and then the testimonials at the back. It's part of the Economic Approaches to Law series, which is mentioned bottom, and it's volume 32. And you can see, for instance, you've got a standard set of examples of the type of article there. That's from the one of the uh, reviews. This is from the Virginia Law Review, another very good example. A lot of footnotes at the bottom, which you can see, which are obviously for learned articles. This is a collection and compendium which is extremely helpful. What I do suggest you do is if you're looking for research look at the references at the front which are very good. There isn't actually as such a, an index or anything at the back. But what you do have of course is you have the, the structure of the book there and you also have acknowledgements and a useful introduction from Mr. Schwartz. That's volume one and volume two very much the same continuing the front and then the back again and then further further information again you can see the very substantial amount of detail that's in there this is from the Cumberland Law Review for instance that one there now what, what I'm going to say about this the books basically run into about 700 pages each so they're very substantial works We've written a detailed review, which, which I would advise you to have a good look at. What we say is, though, that this two-volume work of reference is part of the Economic Approaches to Law series, which I think is a very important area with the economic downturn that we're facing. It examines and summarises much of the latest research and thinking, primarily in America, on insurance in general, and specific insurances in particular, such as liability insurance. And I must say that we do tend to get a bit of a knock-on from America, of some of the sorts of policies that we actually have here. We, of course, gave them the common law in the first place, so there's a lot of interchangeability. The volumes will be of special interest, I think, to legal scholars and insurance practitioners seeking an, econ uh, an economics-based approach to insurance law. And as the bulk of corporate business is now global, I think you'll find these volumes especially useful if you have US-based clients. There are about 34 learned articles in total from the leading academics, and they cover a wide range of different universities and institutions. There are a couple of articles from the Journal of Risk and Uncertainty as well. And the editor, Daniel Schwartz, who's um, an associate professor at the University of Minnesota Law School, has contributed two articles himself. The articles are grouped under specific categories, the volume one, divided into the three parts, and then Volume 2 focuses on regulation. Let me conclude by saying that often considered quite diverse, uh, law and, impact, uh, law and uh, economics, of course, they do impact on the insurance industry very substantially, but also in equal measure, which means that this copiously footnoted two-volume work with the extensive bibliographies will offer perspectives on the economic implications of the law, which I think will be of great use to insurance lawyers, economists, academics and graduate students alike. It's, it's a heavy work, make no mistake about it, but it's a great contribution to insurance law. And I think if you're in that area, especially if you've got US clients, it's something you should have for your library. So thank you to all concerned for an excellent publication. Bye-bye.